ladies and gentlemen, the man who wants to make slavery legal. Excuse me. The man who wants to own slaves as well. Number one, complete and utter foolishness because it goes against everything that I've ever said in public to my family, to my friends. It goes completely against it. It's obvious that it's crafted to make me look bad because it speaks directly against everything that I believe in. To, to say the things that they said that I said. Things that we have talked about this entire campaign, the things that matter to you. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> Good to see you. Very nice to see you. Oh, really? oh, okay. <laughs> 87. We're prepared to accept the, the, the results of the election, uh, win, win, win or lose. And if it's a draw, we're ready to work it out. However, it's, we can work it out legally. So, well, yes, that's the answer is yes. Uh, it's your turn. You got to give him your uh, camera. Hey, you guys are going to get some kids in front of you. Good to see y'all. Y'all come on in here. There we go. That's it. Perfect. There you go. I have. I have. I've spoken to President Trump, and his, his, his absolute orders were me to, to keep fighting because he understands exactly what I'm going through. He understands exactly what I'm going through. He's been through it several times himself. Fred? I have no idea, but myself and President Trump, we're going after two different groups of voters. In the president's race, uh, there are very few undecided. In the governor's race, there is a wide swath of undecided, about 11 percent. And over the last month, that's what we have been pursuing. We have been pursuing that 11 percent, and we made a huge dent in that. He wanted to see him, and Mark said, put him up here, about a four-foot high stage. The daughters owe to our countries for the last 100 years to fight for our freedom, to fight against tyranny. Southeast, out of half of our entire country, 26 other attorney generals. Mark will turn North Carolina, he'll correct schools. Trump's going to save America. I don't care what anybody says. He's going to save America. He's going to take back, he's going to cut immigration. He's going to save us, and we're going to go back to 2020 and what he made. Everybody knows the promises, promises made, promises kept. He'll do it, and so will Mark Robinson. Look at the past three and a half years of this current administration. High gas prices, high inflation, affordable housing has gone through the roof. And you look at President Trump's administration, the dollar stretched more under his administration. You had affordable housing, you had gas that you could afford, you had more money to feed your families with. And I asked and urged those voters to look at that as well as they go towards the ballot on Tuesday.